Hello Leo, it's Lulu and today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or however it's placed in your chart. Okay, hold on. All this stuff popped up. Okay. Now then, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes and comments. Thank you. All right. If uh, it may or may not resonate, there may only be a part that resonates the spiel. That's the whole spiel when it comes to general, general, these are not personal. All right. Now then, let's get into it. Ooh, thank you for your love and support. Y'all must be feeling good out there. I feel it. All right, the big girls are working. All right, you may be thinking about taking a trip or something, getting your coins right so you can take a trip. Here, there's something about a resonant soul. There's opportunities or options available to you, but you only want to go with what you truly desire, which is that sacral chakra energy. Let's get into it because Leo's just be talking today. Let's see here, honey. What information do you have for my beautiful Leos? Thank you. All right, taking action. Yeah, y'all on the move. Heart chakra. Storm warning. It's a shit storm. Okay. Door to past personal healing and happiness. Sacral. I mean, solar plexus chakra. Archangel cameo. Angel of strength. Now, who just had this? I think it was Cancer or Gemini. Somebody. Oh, I think it was Cancer because Gemini, I didn't use the big girls. They had these two cards, these three cards here, but they had them in different, way different positions than this, though. Oh, my goodness. Deceit, door to spirit, and happy family. What the hell been going on? I think the um, reads for today, even the pep talk for today had, look, it's the end of the year, okay? A lot of things get to happen toward the end of the year. It'll be happening all throughout the year, actually. But a lot of things get to happen uh, toward the end of the year to fuck up your next year, okay? Your birthday was a new year for you, but then as a collective, um, the way that um, tradition has it, whatever. Um, how would I clarify with these? Whatever. Now then, let's get into it. So you have um, recently taken action, right? You recently stepped out and did and, and began to move and do things. You took your independence, and your independence is the foundation to who you are. So we're going to get those cards too because for that to come up, okay? But your independence is the, 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 found, the key to who you are and how you stand on your team. And so now that you've pulled together, maybe you've pulled together resources, maybe you've pulled together people, whatever it is, it has more to do with just you being Leo with this uh, 17, one moving into a seven, creating an eight, right? The energy of that one moves into the assessment of everything that is going on, what, how it needs to go on and when it's going to go on, and you just stepped out there. And what's crossing that is the solar plexus and the happy family. So many of you may be taking action towards what it is that you deem a happy family. This may be cohabitation. This may be you moving in with someone, someone moving in with you. Um, this could easily be that um, with this optimism, this is what's holding the most weight is the solar plexus in the middle of this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Y'all got five very bright cards and you're moving into this bright new um, environment this bright new way of doing things maybe there's an apology that is coming in because with that heart chakra there's a um, this is having compassion for yourself as well as other people and just seeing things from a detached perspective in order to heal parts of the heart that may be locked up and bitter or chained to the past or what have you so you're in the space of really moving towards your happiness moving towards what it is that you want moving back into feeling more like a leo basically but then there's a shit storm. And within a shit storm, of course, you look at it with a calm clarity. And this, I always see a shit storm as like a tornado or maybe a hurricane or whatever it is. It's a disruption, right? Of your environment and the way that it is and the way that you are. A shit storm in this um, Oracle deck could easily be the tower card, right? But this is just something that happens that you just sit in the eye of the storm and just look at all the look at all the moving parts. Just look at that. Well, that's interesting. Well, I'll be damned. It's a lot of that going on. But I don't feel like it, um, maybe it's that you step out and disrupt. Um, this may be a lot of tears, um, a lot of um, coming to terms with certain situations as well. Um, it's an uproar. Uh, it could be chaos. I don't think it is. But I do feel like someone is mad. 
in this shit storm and whatever this ma this madness is it leads to the uh, door to personal healing and happiness however that works because there's some type of change as a result of you just stir maybe you stirred the pot in a situation it's like no and then there's an uproar with that but you chose happiness over conflict maybe that's what it is all right now then i also feel that um with this um we got blue we got yellow we got orange we got is that orange and maybe pink but overall i do feel like you walked into this door of uh, personal healing and happiness because it goes back into your individuality it goes back into you um not allowing yourself to be your your heart your confidence your resources or whatever this is right resources can be energy resources can be actual money uh resources can be your time bitch you can't get that big hole okay but um with you taking action and walking into the door of happiness and healing with you taking action and moving into a space where you are you were prepared for this change and by any means necessary you were moving towards these uh changes this you, what the result is that you wanted you focus your intention and then there's deceit here which could easily be the uh devil card so there may be someone trying to tempt you someone um who may be trying to offer you a helping hand that don't, they don't mean you no good i'm telling you right now i don't think they mean you no good because with this person uh they have a candle in the background right the candle isn't in front of them the candle ain't on top of their head the candle ain't in their hand it's behind them so there is something that um the light of the situation the truth of the situation what needs to be seen is not being seen there's only um, a, a small glimmer here so let's see what the hell what uh is this with these three cards over here honey adventure and integration balancing out the yin and yang oh hold on my teapot is saying something okay i'm back my teapot was singing okay so with you balancing out this masculine and feminine energy with you balancing out this yin and yang right coming to terms with integrating this energy you already knew what you needed to do this is um uh having a lot to do maybe you did some shadow work here in the recent past and you are ready to work on it and you are ready to tell people exactly where they got you fucked up it's right there that's what you did probably now then but what I'm getting here is that uh, with this, um, with you being more adventurous with how, I think that this adventure, because it's a rainbow in this one too. You got two, right? Three rainbows. Three rainbows. Something has to happen. Something will be happening with this Ten of Cups, okay? This is um, possibly um, a commitment to your ideals, a commitment to your path, a commitment to someone making a commitment to you, all right? But spirit has been talking to you. They have really been communicating with you with this door to spirit. There has been possibly um, you realizing um, a lot of the synchronicities that you have had. You've had those since you were very young. Okay. Um, because of this little child and this um, adventure card here. Um, there may even be that you found something from uh your past that brought this back to um, the forefront of your awareness and you are taking action now that you realize what it is that you were holding on to that you needed to let go of you see um, this integration when it comes to your strength when it comes to your power when it comes to you connecting to spirit here with these three cards this is power baby because what I'm seeing here is there's a lot of changes that are happening within you and outside of you as well um, with you speaking your truth here, there is some deception here. Some some type of deception that has to do with um, your solar plexus energy. So this may be where you work. This may be how you are about out in the world. This may have, have to do with something trying to take. Because what's crossing this solar plexus card is that storm and then this deceit. But on the other end, you have action and um, family. So it's important that you uh, surround yourself with people who inspire you, people who admire you, especially you being a Leo, honey. Um, people you adore and that adore you. Um, it's important that you, something with the crown chakra here, that you want to be mindful of. But overall, with this door to spirit, uh, you may have a lot of interactions, very close encounters with uh, birds. Um, you. I, I feel like some of you may hear the wings flapping in your ear, but ain't no bird. Okay. Don't act like you knew her. Okay. You are not new here. You know how I go down over here in this house. You hear things. Okay. That you can't explain. All right. 
Um, there's a lot of communication that is also coming through. Um, there may have been this integration and this door to spirit, having a deeper understanding of who you are and how you stand, because I feel like someone is going to try and come and tell you who you are. Someone is going to try and come and tell you what you are and all this right here. You standing on your 10 and you choosing happiness over hindrance, you see. I also feel that I don't know where all these, um, there's a lot of, um, This looks like a robe, some type of robe, okay? Something to do with a robe. Uh, the crescent moon may have be of some significance to you. I don't know. Let's let's clarify. Clarify what you like. Ooh, that's too many cards, Chad. Clarify what you like. Forward thinking. You are very forward thinking. I feel like y'all going to be so much in y'all power that whatever this is, because this is like, uh, like I said, the devil card, temptation, fear, um, being approached here. If you see, here's the thing. Let me get, let's get into it. Whoever this is, okay, um, this may be an actual person because there are people here. I feel like there is someone that you are taking action towards or they are taking action towards you where it comes to mending the heart, mending fences, having a meeting of the minds. Then there is someone here that um, helps you, someone here that um, inspires you. There is someone here that um, you can share certain things with. Then there's someone here who um, is kind of um, irritated by you speaking your truth. There's someone here who is kind of... Um, like this lady right here okay this is who you work with okay maybe some of you are working with the archangels and you're getting closer to them and you need to know that you um have what it takes to continue to move forward and, and do and get and receive what it is that you need to receive now what i was going to say about this person right here that look like they ain't got no sleep that look like they just you know i don't know maybe this is obsession maybe this is the the past coming back for whatever reason um, but here's the thing with this, with you being so connected to spirit, with you being so connected to your angels, guides, ancestors, with you being so connected to higher realms, just like the, the same way that this shit storm happened and you just boom, it was like, boom, boom, door to happiness and healing, boom, boom. It didn't, it didn't hit you like that. Cause I, I told you, I didn't feel like it was like somebody may be mad and they may throw something. There may be something like you you may um, initially see something as uh, that can be detrimental to the foundation of what it is that you built. And then you realize it is not really, really quickly. Let's see what this is. Clarify what you want to, honey. The three of swords, somebody that may want to argue, someone that may want to, um, they're mad about a separation. They may even be mad about... It, this is an emotional upheaval. I feel like with you having this optimism at the center of you, I just feel like y'all are really in y'all element, like for real. And by you being able to move forward and do so in a space where you are not allowing things, you ain't looking like what you've been through, you ain't looking like whatever is going on. It's like you are standing so firmly in your power that whoever this is that was hurt by you, whoever this is that... Um, want you to accept some type of they want it's like you apologize for something you let something go and someone wants you to be they want you they they, they try to put more stuff on you to be uh no but you gotta apologize for this but you gotta do this but you got like no the fuck you don't and if this is your ego telling you this just check that shit write it down if you feel as though you need to analyze it later do your emotional to-do list when it's time for you to because what the fuck but i feel like this is someone who um, it's it, three of swords. This could be someone that is trying to betray you or will try and betray you, but it's not going to work because you are protected. What is this door to spirit? Eight of wands. Communicating with spirit. And it's coming in real fast. And you come to a crossroad in your life and you just move forward. This is a major crossroad. This is a major crossing over of source. There may even be some type of lie about how someone passed. What the fuck? Um, there may even be some type of... Um, in order for you to resolve certain things, it's going to be happening really quick. Like I said, anything that tries to come towards you with these darts... It's going to be resolved really, really quick. This is careful planning as well. This is, this has a lot to do with um, 
you clarifying your goals and setting new priorities here. Clarify this happy family, child. Six of Cups. You back feeling like you on your team. I'm trying to figure it out. You are back in a space where you can concentrate on what is pleasant. You go, you're back in a space where you can concentrate on what is. You are back in a space where um, you are realizing, right, your truth and power. This can even be that you are back in a space of comfort, right, amongst those who love you. You are back in a space of feeling loved or you are back in a space of this may be a lot of self-love. But this is um, possibly a blended family. Here, Marsha, 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 Marsha. Okay, y'all figured out with all them kids in that house. Okay, mm -mm, not over here. We ain't doing it. I babysat the other day. What? Cha. All right. Someone from your past may be bringing you some type of happiness. Someone may be returning from the past. But overall, this is you being back in the space of remembering what it feels like for things just to be balanced the fuck out. Basically, what is this action, honey? The lovers. This may have a lot to you taking your physical beauty into account. This is mutual feelings between you, family, friends, co-workers. Um, this could be that you are taking action when it comes to matters of the heart. Again, with that heart chakra, Archangel Raphael is here. Y'all got a couple of Archangels up in here. Y'all also have the strength card, which is really giving me strong a strong connection to the divine. A strong connection to your guides here. Um... Someone may even be um, leaving their parents' house to go and live with somebody. That's going to cause some huge shit going on. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with that. It's y'all got like that going on. All right. What is this uh, storm? The Empress. There may be some type of uproar about your creativity, your personal growth, your self-development. There may be something here that um, you realize in the midst of a storm that you can just sit there um, as the empress that you are, right? Whether you're a man or a woman, but you sit there in your divine femininity and allow yourself to be. You separate yourself from... Um, yeah, whatever this storm is, it's trying to um, destroy your sense of self. You ain't going to let that happen, okay? Um, I really do feel like this right here has a lot. To, like Maybe someone is finding out that someone is pregnant as well, and, and someone lied about a pregnancy as well. Here, um, this is you being in excellent uh, physical health, mental health. This could even be that you, um, your ideas, your, your divine femininity is causing an uproar, but you okay right there. What is this Empress card? Because what is what? Maybe this is somebody's mother or um, trying to stir up some things or something happens out of nowhere. King of Swords. Maybe this is something like I really do feel like this may be a relationship, right? That you just said bye to completely and fully. And now they see that you have really moved on. It's a problem for them. Okay. People problem with you ain't, ain't your problem. They got bigger problems because they got their problem plus you as a problem. It's That's their problem. Um this is someone very analytical here that this may even be that this is someone who is highly ethical that is maybe this is your mother and your father or maybe this is your situation where it comes to someone wanting to put their um foot down on what it is and how things are done in a in a in a household right how things are done in a household Clarify whatever you want to, honey. Six of Swords, you moving away from any type of problems, any type of unfavorable um, conversations, people, or what have you. Because whatever this shit storm is, it may have been started either by this Empress or this King of Swords. But overall, I feel like there's a meeting of the minds because you just go ahead and keep moving, okay? But your moo moo on. I found my magical moo moo. I was so excited. Okay. I can't wait to wear it. But um, what I'm seeing here is that, you know. Some of you may have even turned down a marriage proposal or you turned someone down to go be with somebody else right there in the Six of Swords. Um, this is a rite of passage, but overall, this is like the future will be better than the past. And you are realizing that in the midst of this shit storm or whatever this is, like it's good that I'm leaving you because you just solidified why I'm leaving you or this situation or this cycle. You solidified it, right? And so you're moving forward in your damn, in your boat. Okay. In your canoe. I don't even know if it's a boat or a canoe. Because it's really looking like it's, I don't, it looks like he's walking up some stairs. So maybe you're walking um, into a space of um, research or a gathering phase where you are, um, something to do with promotion, something to do with um, 
this is mental clarity, right? Once you see, you can't unsee, right? But I also feel like the way that you intuit things is going to be a little more smoother than it was. That's what I'm seeing, okay? What is this strength card, please? I'm going to go. Death. Allow it to be over. Now, this could be a rebirth for you and you are feeling excited about this newness, but they want you to not be um, as verbal as you usually are about this new beginning, this renewal here. This is um, also... An era from the past is behind you now. You can leave this behind. Whatever this is that is coming about, you can leave this behind because now you have growth through honest self-examination with that strength card. Being able to stand in your truth in a way that you know that you've been through it and you are an authority in what it is that you are saying or how you are moving or how you intuit certain things here. All right. What is this uh, door to spirit? The Ten of Cups is whatever you want it to be because y'all are already focused on y'all Ten of Cups. What is this uh, door to spirit? You collaborating with spirit. Yeah. Five of Swords. It's not It's not about um, lording, okay? Because I need to put that make that video public again. It's not about lording over others or trying to do things in a way that... Um, would signify um, what you would pay in your soul, right? So you're in the space of like, because um, again, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Because the Five of Swords with the, uh, the Deceit card coming after, coming before this Door to Spirit. And like I said earlier, whatever this is, this conflict, um, this hostility, um, whatever it was, it's being cleared out. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, I feel as though, like, look at his face. <laughs> Whatever needs to be won will be won, whether by you or whoever, all right? But you are in a space of being strongly connected and knowing that whatever it is that you need to do and how you need to take action, you are backed by your angels. You got a lot of angels in here. You got some stuff that just swept on through and just moved on about its business right here, all right? All right, Leo, I love y'all and thank y'all for making it this far in the video if you did, all right? Now, y'all waited long enough, so I'm going to get on up out of here, all right? Bye.